Hello friends, welcome to Utrecht and Modern Science. Friends, nowadays people are talking about uh, science and non-duality. So today I will be explaining non-duality uh, from my perspective, Okay, what I have understood uh, till now about non-duality. Friends, what is non-duality? If we see non-duality from the spiritual point of view, okay, firstly let me uh, see it from the spiritual perspective, then I'll come to uh, the scientific perspective. Uh, you know, uh, like contemporary scientists, okay, they are also talking about uh, a lot about non-duality. Okay, so firstly spiritual uh, point of view about non-duality. You see, in the spiritual science, uh, in our experience, friends, there are two things. One is the experience. We have some experience. And behind every experience, there is an experiencer. So this is the duality. The duality of the experiencer and the things experienced. Or, in other words, the knower and the known or observer and things observed right so this is the duality right now what is non-duality spiritually speaking the duality or the experiencer and the experience the duality of these two is just the transient transient state or it is called uh, the world of phenomena okay but or the world of creation now behind this world of phenomena or the creation there is something which is non-dual right so in this in our day-to-day -day life okay we experience something and behind every experience there is an experiencer if we attentively see whatever we are experiencing attentively okay then in the extreme state of this attentiveness the experiencer is lost experiencer is not found there is no sense of i and there is just there is no sense at all but there is only the energy of attentiveness the energy of attention in this energy of attention there is neither experience nor any experiencer this energy of attention is one and it does not know anything because there is no sense of I and since there is no sense of I there is no experience this is the ultimate state of being and this state is non-dual state and this is the origin of everything the whole creation the whole creation originates out of this state the state of non-dual non-dual state so the non-dual state is the pure energy and what is this energy this is the energy of total attention right so this is the origin of everything the whole creation so this is one perspective of non-duality now if we talk about the contemporary scientist the contemporary theoretical physicist they are talking about quantum field or unified field or quantum mechanics they say according to quantum mechanics a particle exists everywhere it does not have a particular location it does not have a particular shape okay so everything is located everywhere means they don't exist in space and time but if in that field quantum field there is an observer right conscious observer there is a conscious agent 
then the particles of this whole cosmos start getting attracted to that conscious agent towards that observer and they start taking a particular shape means what does it mean it means the creation start taking place when there is an introduction of an observer so the moment observer comes into the picture the creation starts taking place so in order for anything to create two things are to be present the observer and the observed right so in in the quantum field point of view or uh, the from the contemporary uh, uh, scientific propositions okay uh, they say uh, two things are required okay observer okay and the primordial matter right without the observer primordial matter exists nowhere or it exists everywhere you can say okay means there is no sense of space and time right so with the introduction of observer right space and time comes into existence okay and in this way the whole creation starts right so from the scientific point of view okay if there is no observer if there is no sense of i right then this state is called non dual and non dual is not the manifested universe okay this is the unmanifested or unmanifest potentiality which is without space and time and this unmanifest potentiality of no space and no time is what is known as non dual field or in scientific term it can also be called unified field so the unified field is the field or is the state where there is pure consciousness and there is pure primordial matter matter but there is no sense of i in between right until that sense of i somehow arises okay only then uh, the uh, you know the whole uh, creativity uh, will start taking place right so the whole creation is because of the observer and the observed because of the knower and the known because of the uh, you know experiencer and the experienced and what is non duality non duality is a state where there is no knower and the known means and what is that state that state is the state of pure attentiveness and attentiveness is is uh, you can say it is so strong that there is no existence of any observer or the observed or any experiencer and the experienced okay that field is the real unified field and that is the origin of the whole creation right so uh, whatever i have learned i have experienced so far okay this is my experience of non duality right in further episodes i'll clarify more about it and uh, uh, other aspects of non duality also thank you friends